Hi, my name is Jean-Tal Marshall. I'm the worship leader at Advanced Anointing Church. And I just wanted to share with you just our experience and my experience on um, a couple of weeks ago, Sunday, and how God moves so powerfully. So Apostle Catherine was teaching on how to receive more and to pull on God more and to see his power move. So we were just praising God louder and we were just like, she was just encouraging us to get outside of our comfort zones and to even if we're like a quiet worshiper, because sometimes I'm like that, like I get uncomfortable and I'm just like, just worshiping in my own little bubble. I don't need to be loud. <laughs> but um, she really encouraged us to like praise louder because he's worthy of it. God is worthy of it. So, you know, I was just praising God more and praying more and declaring louder and just louder and louder and louder. Oh, and the praises are being lifted. As I was doing that, I just felt the power of God just move and fall so heavy. And it just showed me that, like, that really just tugs on God's heart. Like, when we are just have a hungry worship, it just pulls on him so much and it allows him to come in such power. So he did and um, I just experienced and just felt like his power so strong on me and I was just crying and weeping and just declaring loud and just singing loud and she, Apostle Catherine called each one of us up to just pour out more anointing onto each one of us and to pray over us. And as she called my name, um, I had to turn to her and walk towards her because I moved on the other side of the church. And she was, she called my name and it kind of like woke me up like out of the intimate like worship I had with Jesus. And as I was walking towards her, I found it so much harder to walk towards her because the glory was so strong, the power was so strong. And it was hard with every step. I had to stop at one moment and just breathe because it was getting harder and harder to get to her. And when I finally got there, um, my eyes were closed. Um, but as I watched back the video, I saw that she had lifted up her hand to lay hands on me. And I didn't see that, but she barely touched my head and I fell out. And as I was laying there, I felt like the power got so heavy. It was weighty. It was a weighty glory, a heavy glory. Both of my arms, I couldn't move them. They were just stuck on the ground. And I was just like, I was still conscious in my mind. So I was thinking like, oh my gosh, like maybe I should get up now. Nope, can't move. Get now, nope, can't move. <laughs> like it was like God was just doing like a mighty work. <laughs> Only God can do this. Only God can do the supernatural. As I was just laying there, I just felt his weight, his glory, and it was so amazing. <laughs> it was just an incredible, incredible time with God. When you see God, you must be transformed. He will move in you. And I lay there for the rest of the service, and I've never experienced that in my life either. I've never been on the ground for that long, ever. But God just showed me so much that, you know, as we pull on Him, as we get outside of our comfort zones and we worship Him with more, with everything we have, because He's worthy of it, with everything, He is he will come with such power, with such fire, and he will just do a new thing like, like we've never experienced. And that was my experience on Sunday. Like I've never seen God move like that. And you know, I'm just grateful for it. God did such a mighty work in all of us. Some were crying, some were just, just in awe of him. And I'm just so thankful for his power falling on us so much in him teaching me that's that amazing lesson that if we would just be hungry if we would just step outside of our comfort zones and worship him with everything we have we will see god move in power
power and in might that we've never seen before and it makes me be so expectant to come into his house to revere it to honor it and to come with hunger just wanting him to do work in not only me but in all of us so i'm just in awe of him and grateful for what he did